about my my brother and this this honor that's being bestowed upon him. First of all, I wish that he was here to receive it. Him not being here has been a point of, of immense pain for my whole family. But as I think about him, I think about how he how he honored our parents, how he honored his family, how he honored even his, his friends, and he made sure that his friends also had good careers, how he honored all the contracts that he signed, except for the last one, but he honored them with his blood, his sweat, his tears, as he played these roles and was taking chemo at the same time. Some of these roles that had him doing things that were physical. Chad was an amazing person. And him being honored Him being honored today is no surprise to me because he, he spent his life from childhood until today always being recognized and receiving honors. He also honored his widow. He was so strong that even in his last days, six days before he died, he he honored the promise that he made to her, and he married her. I close with this. Plato is credited with quoting the phrase that art imitates life, since we're talking about storytelling. What I, from what I know about history, he probably stole that phrase from Kemet, or Egypt, from him hotel, but Oscar Wilde came behind him and he said that life imitates art. And in his case, meaning Chad's, it seems that life is imitating art. And if we pay attention in this thing called storytelling, a story is being told to us all, and it's often played out in cinema. As I take my seat, I want to say that before the pandemic, Netflix had a movie called Pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for honoring my brother. And I want to say, Chad will always love you. And mom and dad will always love you. My mom was supposed to give this speech, but she, she gave it to me. And to me, you and daddy are also legends. Because it takes a king and a queen to create a king.